Good afternoon, everyone. Tomorrow is my first official day of like work work where I'll be seeing patients and stuff. Um, yesterday I went to an orientation and then today I had off, but I've been getting periodic emails from like my department for paperwork and stuff like that. And even tomorrow I need to go and get like documents signed with a notary, which I I've never done before. So it's a little strange, but today was just like not my day. I went to the gym and then I was trying to use the Equinox like cycling bike, but then it wasn't turning on. And then once I got it to turn on, the Wi-Fi wasn't connected. So I had to go ask the front desk. They came to help me, got connected. Then when I started pedaling, the power monitor wasn't like registering with the machine. So I couldn't really track my like stats. So then the guy asked me if I could move to the other bike while he fixed it. So I went to the other bike. And then while I was cycling, all of a sudden my headphones, like one side just stopped playing music. So I think it's time to replace these. I don't know if it was just the bike, but I tried to connect it to my phone and the same audio issue was happening. So these are pretty old. I think these are like the Beats solo something, but they, I think we've had them for like eight years. So it's been a pretty long run. If you guys have any suggestions on what like headphones um, or even like earbuds that go around your ear are good for working out, then let me know. I do have Apple AirPod Pros, but they fall out of my ear when I run, which is why I don't use them for working out. And on the other hand, Head in the Cloud is coming up this weekend. So I was really, really lucky that my order of like clothes came in today because if it did not, I don't even know what I'd be wearing. But I have a couple of options. I bought a ton of stuff from Shein just because it, I think it's like an outfit that I'm only gonna wear once. So I didn't really wanna spend a lot of money on it. But this first thing isn't even part of like a Head in the Clouds outfit. It's just something that I saw that looked really cute. And it's this hoodie. Oh, this looks kind of big, honestly, but um, it's like a knit hoodie. And if I can get this zipper to go down. It's by the brand Frenchie at Shein. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's just very like, like cozy looking. It's a little big. I don't even know what size I got. All right, as for the other clothes, I got four tops that I want to try. I'm gonna return whatever I don't keep but I think the options for my pants are either like my A Goldie flare jeans, my Madeball cargo pants, which I really, really do wanna wear that because that's what I got it for. And then my third option for pants is just my white linen pants. So we're gonna see what these tops look like. I kind of forgot what I got, which is really interesting that I did that, like I bought them like that. Um, one of the things that I was really looking into for head in the clouds was like a corset top i think they're really cute and um i tried some at the mall they weren't my size which is why i ultimately went on to shein to find something of that sort but this is the first one it's just a white corset looking top it is a little see-through so we'll see how that goes but it seems like it's very like stretchy so um, hopefully this looks okay. If not, I'll just return it. Material's not as soft as I would want it to be, but that's expected from Shein. The second top, it's very soft. It is a black, I think it's an asymmetrical top, honestly. Yeah, so it's like, it's like this. And it's got like a pointy bottom. It's, an ace, it's like a one shoulder top and then it's pointed at the bottom. So we will also try this on. This I feel like is better quality than the white tank top. So I just need to see like what these things look like on me. The third thing I got, oh, this is like a short sleeve off the shoulder kind of moment and it's white. 
I actually really like the quality of this. So I might keep this even if I don't wear it for like a night out kind of look. And then the last top that I got, ooh, I actually really, really want to like this one because it is exactly what I was looking for at the mall. Um, this is a denim corset top. So it looks like this. All right, I'm going to go try these on with the pants and I will show you what I ultimately end up with. All right, so this is the first shirt. It's the denim corset top. Um, I'm trying it on with the white linen pants, which I don't really think goes together, but I'm gonna see if I can wear this with the lighter denim and make it a denim on denim look. All right, so this is the denim on denim look. It doesn't look terrible, but the one thing I'm noticing is that the strap just keep falling off because um, it's like it's a structured top and it just doesn't fit me right so I don't think this shirt is gonna be the best option for me but we are going to keep trying the other shirts all right so this is the corset tank top I don't hate the look I just don't like the fabric of the shirt it's like so scratchy it's literally like rubbing on the insides of my arms and it's kind of hurting so i don't think this is also gonna work okay so this is the next shirt it's like this white off the shoulder kind of looking thing but only on one and it's like a short sleeve um i don't know how i feel about it it is very comfortable compared to the other two but it is just like a different look that i'm used to it doesn't fit me the way that I want it to because my shoulders are really wide, if that makes sense. So, um, like this is supposed to be a little more down on this side. I don't know, big question mark. All right, so this is the last shirt. I'm obviously not wearing the right bra for it, but this is the like structure. It's cinched on the side and then it has this like pointed detailing at the end. I almost feel like I like this top better with the blue jeans rather than these pants because I feel like for this pant, it's supposed to be the star of the outfit with all the pockets and stuff. But then like when I have this, it's, um, it's like competing against. So I would go for a more like simple casual look with the denim. Um, but then I'm not sure what I would wear with these pants. We are back, head in the clouds. And we got my face is so close. <laughs> but um, Winston is graduating today. We couldn't make it, so we're watching, we're watching the live stream of his graduation. <laughs> Today is one of my work from home days. Um, so I this morning I've been reviewing the charts for the patients that we're going to be seeing from OPAT and specifically like these patients are going to be on our I guess like service until my doctor comes back which is why she wanted me to have this list and I basically just tried to go through um, all the people that I'm going to be seeing because I want to be familiar with what they're coming in for and then I also I wanted to talk about what happened yesterday because I don't think I even mentioned it in any like vlog or anything so Tiffany got tickets to go see the Bridgerton season three screening so sorry um and so like we literally found out I want to say a couple of days ago 
Um, so we went yesterday. It was at 7.30 and I got a, I got out of work early. So I was waiting online since like four something. And they had a priority and general line and the priority people, obviously like you get to go in first. Um, so they have a limited amount of seats. And then if they have extras then they let people from general in. But the thing is, um, like the general line was so so long it literally wrapped around the block and I was fortunate enough to get there early enough so that we could be like the few people from general that actually got in which was crazy because I was basically online for I want to say like two hours aside from that it was such a like cool experience because before the screening happened Hannah Dodd um, Claudia, Jesse, and Jess Madden, which play Francesca, Eloise, and Cressida in that order. They showed up and they gave like a little three minute speech just to say hi to the fans. And I recorded the whole thing because obviously like my sister didn't get to go. So I wanted to show her this footage, but I'm gonna include into this vlog just so that like you guys can also see it. So they showed up. Um, we watched the episode which was about an hour long and it was so good like I was actually laughing during the entire episode and um, I can't wait until the actual episodes come out tomorrow but that's only part one and then we have to wait a whole nother month for part two which is so crazy to me but yeah that's what I did yesterday and then um, today I have work from home tomorrow and friday i'm going into the clinic and we're seeing patients all day so um work is slowly like getting there i'm still onboarding at this time because onboarding just takes forever so just cherish your time that you have off because when you start working you start working forever but before i show you that clip there are some photos that i took while we were waiting so this blurry photo is me and tiffany waiting on the line and then this other photo is the screen that they show us when you're sitting inside the theater and also here is a picture of our wristbands that we got that allowed us into the event so um enjoy the next clip and i will pass on my good luck to any of you who want to go to a screening in the future hopefully you will be let in Take a bad picture. And now, yeah, why 
Oh, yeah, oh, so I just stop screaming. <laughs> <laughs> much and like yeah it's because of you it's done so well so thank you so much for loving it as much as you will do Um, I'm sitting here eating breakfast. I actually woke up really early today, around 5.30, just because my circadian rhythm wakes me up. But today's the day that Bridgerton part one, season three is released. And so I watched the first two episodes in bed and literally like, I'm not gonna spoil it because I know people probably don't have time to watch it and they're like trying to wait for both part one and part two to come out. But I will just say that all of the interviews that say that it's like really fast paced and there's a lot of stuff like jam packed into the episodes is 100% true. And I just finished episode two and it's <laughs> insane what happens. Um, and yeah, if you guys don't know the show, definitely go watch it. It's really, really good. Um, there's three seasons plus Queen Charlotte. It's really dramatic and I love shows like this. If you guys have a favorite season, let me know which one down below. I think honestly, out of the, all the ones that are completely released, so season one, two, and Queen Charlotte, I would say that Queen Charlotte is my favorite out of those and then I don't know, this one's kind of like up there, so we have to see when the entire thing comes out, but I'm really excited for them. And I know that like the cast and all the people who work on the show worked really hard on this season, so I'm just excited to see what else shows up in the rest of the episodes. Okay. 